The birth of African-American cinema can be traced back to the 19-teens with the emergence of race films, while the inception of African cinema is closely connected to the independence of African countries, which happens primarily in the 60s. So here, there is an historical gap of 50 years between the two, so from the 19-teens to the 1950s. But it should be also noted that African experiences of early cinema dates back to the late 19th century and early 20th century when the first films and studios were built on the continent. And here I'm quoting Arrow. The documentary Spirits of Rebellion, African, uh, Black Cinema from UCLA, by Zenabu Irene Davis, which came out in 2016, provide an intimate insight into the development from within where members refer to the work of the Samben Usman, but also from the Mauritanian uh, Men Ondo, as a source of inspiration in the formative years. American coming together, you know, and making movies and working. That's, you know, the venture is not happening. It's always in a parallel. It's, you know, the Africans, you know, the playing in the US in movies, and I know the African American playing in Africa in movies. But that intersectionality needs to happen. It needs to be intentional, it needs to be deliberate. It's not something that can. So as a conclusion, I would say my main objective in offering this book, and also for the forthcoming one in six months, is to contribute to the visibility of African cinema, its diversity, but also to create conversation between African cinema and African American cinema but also to foster a critical study of the diverse cinematic expressions of African cinema. Because African cinema, here also I'll go off script, African cinema, even on the continent, African cinema is not studied. As of now, there is only one university, the University of Cape Town, that has a master's program in African cinema. So in all South Southern Africa, you have no, no degree granting program on, this, on African cinema. And sadly, even for UCT, the University of Cape Town, I just learned last week at the conference at the University of Michigan that that master's program was closed down. So it's only the center of African cinema. So the marginality or marginalization of African cinema is not only within the field of film and media studies globally, but also even on the continent itself, it's basically non-existent. 